Good morning! Extra, extra, read all about it. This is your daily tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome all my boundaryless journey fellow journeyers. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel or for finding me to begin with. If this is your first time finding the channel, uh, please do click subscribe and ring that bell so you know when I go live and you get notified when all the content comes up because I do weekly tarot card tarot slash oracle card readings and I do daily readings and then I do a weekend romance. There's lots of great content that is currently produced and then lots more content that's coming up. So I ask you to join the journey on Born Without Boundaries. Welcome everybody. If you are on a platform that allows for commercial breaks, there will be a commercial break coming up in a couple of seconds. After that, there will be no more commercial breaks and the message will be completely uninterrupted. So I thank you for your patience and I'll see you in 30 seconds to a minute. Now, if not, and that pause was just sort of, uh, I don't know, dramatic effect. Let's get right into the daily reading. Um, as always, for every daily reading, I use my Talisman and Cauldron deck. Talisman and Cauldron deck was designed by my friend Laura, who owns Talisman and Cauldron. It's a spiritual store in Derby, Connecticut. Her and her friend China developed this deck. It's very unique. It has a very unique voice, which is why I love to work with it. Now, Every single day, every single time I use this deck or any of my tarot decks, I cleanse the energy. I cleanse the energy and I reorganize the deck because I absolutely do take reversals. I read reversals and I want to make sure for me, like just for my sake, that I have, um, that, that I, I just, I, just for my sake that I know that those reversals are meant for this specific reading. So I always start with a fresh deck. All right, guys. Energies for September 30th, 2019. Energies for September 30th, 2019. Daily general energies for September 30th, 2019. is this this is different it's coming out of the back of the deck wish I could have showed you how it was Queen of Wands hmm confidence certainty lots of energy and momentum moving forward page of wands but this is also falling back you go from the Queen to the Knight to the page this could be Effectively, okay, many different reasons, many different reasons. And in other words, you start out high energy, you start out doing really, really well, and then you sort of downgrade and you get less momentum. Or it just feels like something that it's like you're losing energy, essentially, because that's what it is. It's sort of like, it's sort of like not a downgrade, but it's a reduction in. And um, this could be you're losing enthusiasm for, this could be losing, um, 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 momentum, uh, or <clears throat> people aren't responding to you the way that they used to. Okay. Judgment. Okay. This is, so the judgment card is almost new life, getting new life, like, like literally being born again, um, having died and then come back. It's like, this is a judgment of you get a second chance or you are chosen or it's a judgment definitely in your favor, but it's, it comes after a long night. The judgment card comes out and says, now, now is your time. Now is when your blessings come in. Defensiveness. So not really trusting, <laughs> not really trusting when the judgment card pops out. Being like, 
I don't know, things have been shitty lately. <laughs> like that's sort of the mentality uh, right now. Uh, okay, central card is the world. So, oh no, <laughs> this is why I love. This is why the, the deck is so sorry. The deck is so sarcastic, and I really love its voice. It's like mm, no, no, this is a whole new life cycle for you. <laughs> it's it's starting off. Um, you can believe it. And I know it's almost like in our energy, it's almost like, yeah, I'll believe it when I see it because I have trusted that have faith shit before and you know, like, like that, like, like that's, that's the mentality right now. I never know where to look in this. Let me just see. I can never know where to look like where this camera is actually the eye line of this camera. I use my phone camera for this guys. So this is. A fulfillment of a life a life cycle um, the world is the central card for the reading central card being the theme of the reading so this is almost like a past life not a past life um beginning like like a a life that you led in the beginning of your life a momentum this is an energy of the day though so we could do general message for the day but we could also do daily energy in other words this day may start out feeling like you're tumbling backwards but then it's going to pick up. You're not gonna really believe it. There's going to be maybe a judgment, a call that somebody, um, a judgment call that you don't agree with because you don't believe it, you're defensive. But the central theme of this reading is that no, no, this is actually happening. This is a new chance, a second chance, a new life. Standing your ground, defeating people who would come after you, defeating, um, triumph and, and victory over um, naysayers, people who would try to get in your way and block, and it, or even not just people, just blocks or challenges or struggles that you've had, but definitely overcoming them. All wands. This is all fire energy. This is all about action. Burdens. Picking up your burdens and moving on. It's almost like an acceptance of this is how it is and I'm I'm leaving. It's it's ending. It's a it's a completion. That's the ten. It's almost like the end of a long hard journey. Yes, I heard it. I heard myself say, <laughs> for all of the all of you guys out there with a mind just like mine. Yes, I heard myself say, long and hard. Okay. This is reaping the harvest. So taking care of and. Um, reaping or collecting all of those things that you've been nurturing and now standing and waiting and actually seeing like this is like seeing potential seeing hope seeing um seeing some good things coming to you in other words seeing some um progress being made or or results, seeing some results, actually getting through the clearing, coming through the clearing and being able to see that your actions are reaping some positive results. Like you can see in the original tarot deck, there is uh, ships on the horizon. So it's you're actually seeing your ships arriving, ships being your your um, abundance arriving. All of this is wands. 
like almost everything on this table is wands except for the judgment card and the seven of pentacles which talks about actions which talks about reaping which talks about reaping what you sow so essentially what this is saying to me is your actions have impressed the cosmos the ether the universe your actions and where you've put your energy let's see what card comes out at the end Stress. Okay, so today, <laughs> today, um, t today is a very interesting day because what it talks about is working very, very hard and not feeling like you're getting anywhere. Like seeing like the, the results not adding up to the efforts. Feeling like almost losing momentum in a way for whatever you're doing. Feeling discouraged. You're trying to start something new and it's a little bit too hard. Like you need more coming back from the cosmos. You need more coming back from the universe to let, there's my pigeons. I wish I could show them to you. There's my pigeons tap, tap, tapping. Um, oh, it's so beautiful. I have, a, I have a skylight above guys and it's just those are the pigeons like tapping on it and essentially you need more, and as soon as I said you need more from the universe to tell you that things are going well, the, mis, the, mess, the pigeons were tapping on my window and then they flew off. So. I do believe that things are going to start taking flight. This is, this is essentially all the messages coming in around me. That, that your actions and your efforts have absolutely been seen and been noted. And uh, there are, not only are they appreciated, but they're going to be rewarded. This is the trickling, this is the stress that you feel about things not really moving for you but they are here let me let me show you the cards okay so essentially you start out with a lot of momentum feeling very very good about yourself momentum seems to be picking up but then it's like it's almost like a downgrade if you will you start from a queen then you go to a knight then you go to a page it's almost like it's not necessarily that the energy is necessarily all tapped out but you're, you're feeling like almost like a child being bossed around and pushed around. And here comes this, this the a angel, the, the judgment card, which is the only major arcana on the table. So it could be you making a judgment to set firmer boundaries, to establish yourself a little bit more firmly because you don't really like the way that people have been treating you. It's like you feel, you start out feeling like a queen and then people are treating you all kinds of like a child. No bueno. And so you basically stand your higher ground and you'll walk away from something if you have to. Like be prepared today to just lay it all down and walk away in order to set a boundary that will get you back to being your, your queen, get you back onto your throne. This is about work. You know, it's, it's, it's a reflection of work and all that you've done. And you absolutely do care about all that you've done. But it is about work. It is about um, professionalism. It, it's about, like I said, reaping the benefits of what you sow. But knowing that how you allow yourself to be treated is also part of that. So you're kind of looking out and seeing almost like you're reviewing exactly what are my actions? What were my choices? You know, what did I do to sort of get myself into this position? And I don't think that's a good thing. Because you're stressed out. It's stressing you out. 
It's, it's making you feel basically uncomfortable and hopeless and draining you. It's making you feel stuck and hogtied. Today is the energy of, I wish people would get off my back. Today is the energy of, um, I'm busting my you know what, and it's not reaping what I, it's, it's a little bit of a discouragement. There's a little bit of a vibe of not feeling appreciated in all that you do in wondering when your ships are coming in and wondering, like deciding to still fight. It's almost like you made the judgment to keep carrying on, but you, you can't let go of this nagging feeling in the back of your head of, okay, but I'm going to need some feedback and some motion really fast here. I, I, I really can't wait any longer. This is sort of a feeling of impatience today. I really, I, I'm not okay with waiting any longer. This has to, this movement has to start. It has to pick up because I've done all that I can do. Now the energy is set. No matter where I look on this reading, the energy is set. There's a ton of energy here. That's all that, that's wands are. It's momentum. It's action. Maybe, just maybe, you've been taking too much action and that's what's stressing you out. What you need, at least today, is to hang back a little bit and just let things happen. Because there's one part, right? Manifestation is a two-part process. It's a process of giving, which clearly you've been giving a ton. You've been overworking, overacting, overbehaving, overinvesting. And now it's time, if you want to receive, you've got to let the reception come through. It's like, yes, the universe wants you to receive. Yes, there are wonderful things that want to come into you. But it's like every single second is more action, more action, more action. You have to take time out to really just allow. The allowing is what I don't see here. And that's why there's so much stress. There's no emotions here. There's very few pentacles, which is that settled, certain, patient energy. There's just movement, 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 do, 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 do. So to counter that, you know, being that this is Libra season, this is all about um, balancing out the scales. What I would suggest today is a lot of meditation, a lot of relaxation, I'm not saying take the day off, but stop working so hard. You have done the work. Accept it and appreciate it. If you want others to value you and your hard work, then you need to value it too. It starts with you. You know, you are the world. You set the tone. You are making this motion. You are putting it all into play. So today is a very good day to just reap, to allow to put way more focus here than you have than you have so far. What I see today is that it will be a day of a lot of hard work for you. At least that's what you'll want it to be. There's just a lot of stuff. There's a, in other words, there's a lot of stuff that you have to get done. And that's where your mindset is. Now, what I can say to you is in terms of the cards... After today, there's two major arcana, the world and judgment, okay? It, it's like you will get what you are looking for. You will get new opportunities, new chances. This is literally abundance that's rolling in for you, that's set for you to come. It's already been assigned to you. So your hard work is paying off. Today, there's so much going on that you feel like you have to get done. It's almost like you don't see it today. But I'm going to say this. I'm going to make the judgment call. You're going to be seeing it. You're going to be seeing it tomorrow. You're going to be seeing it the next day. It will start to loosen up and flow in as long as you make room for it. So that's take some time out to please, please, please allow for the abundance, allow for the happiness, allow for the joy appreciate, sit back and appreciate what you've done and then watch all your abundance come in. And this right here, it's going to fade away. You go from the eight, but there's, this is the nine in reverse. Nine in reverse is you stop stressing so much. Nine in reverse is um, like letting go of a lot of the, the pain and suffering that's happening mentally in your head. 
like a relinquishing of that, like a surrendering, right? If you surrender, if you surrender to your thoughts, well, that's maybe, okay, that's another meaning of this too. If you surrender to your thoughts, you're just going to be stressed out because it's your thoughts that are really crowding you and getting in your way. Everything else, the actions are on point. And the, the, the benefits are starting to come in. By the end of the day, just promise me this, by the end of today. Sorry, I wanted to see those cards too. By the end of today, put your feet up. Give yourself some time to relax. Maybe after work, go get a massage. This is definitely a call to calm yourself down because you've stressed yourself out. It's almost like you've overworked yourself. Today is a day that you really need maybe some extra help in getting some release. But the release is so important for moving forward. Because it's there. It's, it's right there for you. You know, major arcana always outweigh minor arcana. What's faded is this whole, this, this whole new destiny, this whole new world. It's a whole new life. This is it. It's like the judgment and then the world. 20 and then 21. You get a whole new life. You get it. You've earned it. It's, it's yours. You are, it's, al you, it's almost like you already have it. You just haven't realized you have it yet because you're so stressed out about the details. So today is a very good day at the end of your day, which will be very busy. For you to unwind, kick your feet up, put your feet up, relax, maybe go out to dinner with friends, do something that allows you to enjoy where you are right now, because where you are right now is actually a beautiful beginning. And I just don't think that you're seeing that right now because of all the work coming at you. Moral of this story, get through this day, pound it, bully it. If you feel that's what you have to do, if there's a lot of work, go ahead. You'll get through it. And by the end of the day, give yourself some joy. Give yourself some pleasure. Take some of that bounty. It'll give you a different perspective on things that I think that you really need because the stress is what's really outweighing the actions here, not the benefits. The benefits are coming in. You're reaping your rewards, but the stress is making them look like they're less than they really are. So kick your feet up at the end of today. Do whatever you need to do to relax and unwind and say, good job to me. It's a very important action today. It will help balance you out. Today is absolutely a very good day. Manifestation and abundance is coming in, flowing our way. I'll talk to you tomorrow.